Hundreds of government workers are gone, quietly quitting in Toledo, TPS, and Lucas County. But they each retired with a big bonus, a public payout on top of a pension. Kevin Milliken adds up what it is costing you as a taxpayer. He's on assignment with a story you'll see only on Fox Toledo. Nearly 600 public employees called it quits, most of them more recently retiring because of the uncertainty over their pensions, Senate Bill 5, and contract negotiations. But their severance payouts for sick, vacation, and comp time have cost taxpayers $13 million and counting. I've had 36 years and I do have another chapter in my life. Math teacher Mary Morales is philosophical about retiring before she was ready. She and 200 other teachers quit the classroom concerned over budget cuts. The politics that's behind teaching. I mean, I love to teach, but I also have to live. So my salary is involved, my retirement fund is involved, and my health insurance is involved. While Mary and others left to preserve a public pension, they also were served a severance, vacation, and sick time, a second public employee payout. 67 Toledo City workers received over $3 million combined. 107 public employees left Lucas County with more than a million taxpayer dollars. Toledo Public Schools paid out $7.7 .7 million so far to half of the 400 people who put in their paperwork. The total is nearly $13 million in counting because not all of the 600 retirees have received their checks yet. I think it's a fair equation. I, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. Many elected officials defend the public payout, saying longtime employees earned it and union agreements allowed it. In a tight economy with big budget deficits where the private sector doesn't offer such a public perk, the sticker shock to taxpayers is obvious. But some on city council say it will pay for itself long term. So as our older, more expensive uh, workforce begins to retire and we hire new people under different terms, this ultimately is the path towards fixing that structural deficit. The new employee coming into the door to the city of Toledo is 35 percent less than the employee that went out the door. And so I think all of this is going to offset itself. Even those who feel they left too soon, they have a lot of cash coming to kick off retirement, making that transition easier. It's bittersweet, but I'll, en I'll enjoy it. I'm, enjoying, I'm beginning to enjoy it now more and more. What a difference a day makes. Had many of those government workers waited until July 1st instead of today, it could have cost them thousands in retirement benefits. The governor's new budget bill calls for sweeping changes to the three major state pension systems. He signs the bill tonight. It takes effect tomorrow. On assignment, Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News.